Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. And by the video title, you know what this video is about. Three major concerns I have for the Pittsburgh Steelers entering the 2024 season. As you guys know, next week will be the season. You know, next week, the season will start next week. We finally get football back. It's going to be major, of course. A lot of big time views I have coming for you guys too next week. The season hype video, the game previews, other videos as well like that, prediction videos, and after the game, of course, the post game show and all the type of stuff we're going to have. Like that, so be on the lookout for all of that and stay tuned on this channel and my channel too as well like that. You can get everything. So, um, three major concerns I really have for the team. Three things I can think of, of course, the first one to come to mind is receiver depth. Receiver depth has been a thing that plagued us throughout the offseason a little bit. Now, you know, training camp and stuff, we're trying to see if we can maybe trade for receiver. Like, Brandon Ayuk, who is now gone. Now, of course, he's a 49er. Now, he you know, signed an extension, a four-year, $120 million extension. He finally got his deal done. And also, you know, we were seeing other things, too, as well. Maybe we signed somebody in free agency like that. A lot of big-time free agent ones, the solid ones you could bring in, those guys are kind of gone now. So, we're going to see what the Steelers are going to do. Roman Wilson is the receiver we drafted in the fourth round, you know. And, um... He hasn't played yet because of the injury to his um, ankle, so we'll see if he can maybe emerge to be that guy. Kevin Austin played last year, only had one good game, and um, I don't know if he's going to be able to get better. We'll, we'll see how he does. Van Jefferson is who he is. You know, he's been in the league for like six, seven years. His best year came, he had 800 yards with the Rams, and I think last year he had 100, like 25, 130 yards like that. He's a pretty solid receiver. He probably can get you like you know, around 500, 400, 500 is around receiving yards. But I don't know if he can be that legitimate, a uh, reliable second target. George Pickens, of course, we know he's a beast. He's an amazing player like that. So but our receiver room, we got a lot of question marks around it. It's a lot of question marks surrounding our receiver room. And you kind of look back at the trade. We traded DJ away to the Panthers. We were like, okay, at first we thought it was a good trade because we thought the Steelers were going to draft the receiver high up. I remember my other channel before I got to this channel. This channel right here, I've only been on for like a month. I think it's like July, July 28th, 29th, like that. So I'm done about a month. On my other channel... I mean, I already do the little draft videos like that. So I did the mock draft stuff. I did draft, um, the receiver prospects for the Steelers. I was hoping we got a guy high up in the draft. I was based off of what we, us trading away Jesse Johnson. I was thinking we'd probably draft a guy, probably second round, third round, you know, around that range like that, to get a guy up by Jalen Polk or Malachi Corley or one of those type of players. We kind of waited till later down the line, and we got a guy in the fourth round, Roman Wilson. And Roman Wilson, don't get me wrong, he's good. You know, he's a pretty solid player like, from college like that. Has 700 plus receiving yards. 12 touchdowns and stuff, but we have yet to see him play like in preseason and play a game too as well. So we're gonna see how he looks. We're hoping that he can emerge as the guy, like the second bona fide guy next to George Pickens. I think he can, but we will have to wait and see. But it's still kind of a lot of concerns and a lot of like question marks around receiver two, three, and et cetera, like that. So we're gonna see who fall into what spot and a lack of size too in the receiver room as well. It would have been great to get Noah Brown, but you guys know Noah Brown is on the commanders now. And also you look at, it was somebody else too. Uh, I think I talked about last time. John Metchie. John Metchie is another guy too as well. He wouldn't bring you size, but he do have the athleticism and potential to be good. But I want the Steelers to be willing to make a trade for him. So we'll just have to see what the Steelers do with the receiver depth. They um, most likely probably trust in the receiver room. They do a very good job at developing guys. And hopefully they can do another good job at developing Roman, Roman Wilson and other guys around too as well to get those guys up par so we can have reliable targets. Because George Pickens, I hope it don't happen. But if George Pickens get injured, knock on wood, it's over for our receiver room. If George Pickens get injured, because he's like kind of like the only bona fide guy you can trust on the outside like that consistently, too. So other guys are question marks. Yet to be seen. So we have to wait and see. That's probably my first major concern for the team. The second one, of course, is definitely injuries. The injuries have played us a lot. They're already starting to pile up a little bit. We see Jalen Warren have the hamstring injury. We're going to see if he's going to be out there and able to play week one. We also seen Isaac Amalu with the pec injury as well. And I think he's going to miss the first four games. So it's not too severe, but it still kind of hurts you, though, of course. And we also seen Roman, not Roman Wilson. Roman Wilson is still, I believe he's still injured. The boot is off now, but his ankle is still injured, I think. And then Russell Wilson, he was injured with the calf injury. He should be healthy now. So Alex Highsmith was another guy. It was somebody else, too. Alex Highsmith, Batanu. Batanu was another guy, too, as well. Brother Jones had a injured arm a little bit too as well. And I feel like somebody, I feel like somebody else I'm missing. Somebody else, I think. Actually, I was high Smith. I feel like somebody else I'm missing though, but a lot of injuries. Like injuries been piling up like that. Just like last year, the injuries piled up. The Steelers still was able to 
be a competitive team like that with the injuries piling up. But last year, the injuries piled up on us, especially on the defensive side of the ball. We had to bring guys out of retirement like Miles Jack. We brought undrafted rookies in, practice squad guys in. They filled in and played pretty solid. I remember Thompson, number seven, we were number 17, he had an interception, making plays and stuff out there too. Our defense still only allowed 19 points per game last year with all those injuries and on, um, was top five in turnovers as well like that. Well, we, we might allow a lot of yards. The so yardage was um, high, of course. You know, they, we had a lot of passing yards, a lot of rushing yards, but we played bend but no break. Um, in the red zone, we shut down. We played very good in the red zone um, and locked teams down, kept teams from scoring touchdowns on the field goals like that. So we did a pretty good job. But hopefully this year we stay healthy. Because I feel like if our offense, of course, stay healthy too as well. But if our defense can stay healthy, they can definitely be a top three defense. And I don't think it'd be number two or three. I think it'd be number one in the league like that. It'd be a very good defense. could be the best defense in the league. They stay healthy and keep everybody you know, like together like that. And especially the way they're going to kind of do the style now too as well, having the guy on the outside, bringing Dusty Jackson to be on the other side of JPJ with Corey Trice as well being healthy too. He was a guy who missed all last year because he tours ACL. So having all that stuff, I think we're going to be a nice team like that. But the health is a major concern like that. I don't know what's wrong with our like medical staff team. My wife for the past few years, you know, like a lot of random injuries, the groin injury, especially a lot. Cause that was a groin injury, like groin injury, groin injury. So hopefully they get that stuff situated and get that stuff fixed and we can get back to, you know, staying healthy, just staying healthy. The last major concern I have, of course, for the team, I'll probably say it's definitely quarterback play. Um, as you guys know, last year we had Mr. Bisky, Mason Rudolph, Kenny Pickett, and you know, Russell Wilson, Justin Fields is a big upgrade over those guys, but it's still question marks. We don't know how those guys are gonna be. Are these gonna, are is Russell Wilson gonna be the guy for us now to help us get in the playoffs, win a playoff game, and compete to try to um, push to, for a Super Bowl? We don't know. Is Justin Fields gonna be the guy for us in the future? Or and like, or maybe, maybe for the guy for us now, if we go out there and like, you know, make some plays, if Russell Wilson can't do it, go out there and take his spot. I don't know. We, don't, we have no idea like that, so we have to wait and see. What happens? There's a lot of question marks about my major concerns. There's those pieces like that. Receiver depth, injuries, and of course, quarterback play, because there's a lot of question marks. We really, we really don't know like that. We don't have enough. We see Russell Wilson play in preseason, which didn't really give you too much. He played like what, like what, 13, 14, like 15 snaps like in, in preseason, so you really didn't see too much of him. There's the fields, you've seen a lot of him. You've seen some good, you've seen some bad, of course, as well. Like that, but he don't look ready fully, so we can't really like see and like evaluate everything fully. So we just have to wait until the regular season, week one versus the Falcons. And then in week two versus the Broncos and also like that. So we'll just have to be like hoping that they pan out well like that. So those are probably my major concerns for the Steelers entering this season, uh, the three major ones. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what your guys' um, major concerns is for our team this season. And this is all I have. And I'm going to have some more videos probably. I don't know if I'm having any more videos this week. If something happened, I probably will. But next week, opening week, I'm going to have a lot of videos coming. Opening week, got a lot of stuff coming. Most of them already made pre take because like some special videos as well. So be on the lookout for those. But this is all I have. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.